how do I know if I'm getting a good deal? I want the lowest possible rate so my mortgage payment won't be as high. So the lowest possible rate on the rate sheet. So on the rate sheet, we don't have a thing called like the rate of the day, right? If you kind of say, hey, what's your rate? And I say 6.875, that's going to be on a continuum of rates that may be above that and rates that may be below that. Well, Joy, why wouldn't you just give me the lowest rate? Of course, I want the lowest rate. Every single rate on the rate sheet comes with a corresponding number indicating how much that rate costs. So the rates stay the same. What happens is the number that corresponds with in terms of how much it costs is what changes all the time. And so asking for the lowest rate, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, when I was in the call center, when people would call and they would not allow me to do a proper consultation, just give me the lowest rate. Okay. 2% without explaining that 2% will cost them, I don't know, $25,000. The lowest rate may not be the best rate for you. You want to talk about your assets, how much money you want to put in this what type of payment you want. There are a lot of different goals that you can have when you are trying to get a mortgage loan. And one of the biggest pet peeves I have is when people are not able to articulate what their goal is and they're only able to say what they think I want to hear. I want the lowest rate. Well, why? What are your plans with the property? How long are you going to live there? An arm might be the best rate for you. It could be a lot of different ways to customize it to what it is that you need. I had someone contact me about a month ago and the person was adamant about making sure that the payment didn't exceed, you know, $1,900. I sent back something that was around $2,000. But then I got an email back saying, well, I didn't want to spend this much money. Well, you never told me that. You have to articulate what the, the goals are. And those goals can change all the time. But because I didn't know that information led me to follow the directions that I was given. Okay, what do we need to do to keep the payment where they wanted it? And I executed so asking for the lowest rate can sometimes be something that's very costly. And it could, in fact, exceed how much money you have available to fund the loan. So you want to make sure that when you're speaking to a loan professional, you are able to articulate in a very clear order, a hierarchy, what is the most important thing to you in this transaction? Is it your payment? Is it your out-of-pocket expenses? Because it can change for everybody. It is not going to be the same and it's okay. It's completely fine. There are people that will spend, you know, an extra five, six, eight thousand dollars in closing costs because they've already calculated out how long they're going to live there. They've already calculated out their break-even point. They know they're not going to refinance. There are certain things that they know that they're going to do or not do that's going to allow them to yield um, a monetary reward. So asking for the lowest rate is not always the right question to ask. And it's not always the best thing to demand, depending on your circumstances.